everybody, Brian Holly Hunt here, 16-year-old conservative commentator, founder, editor-in-chief of the Truth Gazette. We're at America Fest in Phoenix, Arizona. 10,000 young conservatives from all 50 states across the country. Look who we found: Republican nominee for governor from the great state of Arizona. You all know her. She's a rising star in the party. She's been called Trump in heels. Joining us now is the one, and the only Miss Carrie Lake. Carrie, thanks for joining us. Thank I appreciate you this. For having me, I'm so impressed with you and what you're doing. Thank you. And what a great place to be, right? Yes, ma'am. You're in the middle of it all. Yes, yes, absolutely. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. I know it's a busy day, but I appreciate you doing this real quick. I'm so, happy to do it. Yeah, well, first of all, let's go ahead and address some breaking news that just happened. You know, you're in the middle of a post-election lawsuit right now against Maricopa County, where we are right now. Yeah. Uh, you know, your team, the judge granted your team's request to analyze ballots. So bring us up to date on this lawsuit, where you are right now, and how far are you willing to go with this? Well, I'm willing to take it all the way to the Supreme Court if necessary. We have a judge today. Of course, my opponent wants to throw our election lawsuit out, even though they basically sabotage election day operations in order to try uh, to, to cheat to win. And we have an incredible election uh, lawsuit that we're putting forward with whistleblowers. We have signed declarations in the, the penalty of perjury showing that hundreds of thousands of ballots were poured in that are are not ballots that should have been counted, they're unlawful ballots, and so much more in our lawsuit. Today, my opponents tried to get it thrown out, and so a judge listened to their motion to to get rid of this lawsuit, and he's going to make a decision tonight whether to keep this lawsuit moving along. If he says this lawsuit can continue going forward and it won't be dismissed, tomorrow we will begin examining ballots, and Wednesday and Thursday will be our two-day trial to show the world what happened here in Arizona when it comes to our election. So we're praying that the judge will uh, grant us this uh, trial, and if so, starting tomorrow, we'll be sending our observer down to inspect the ballots in America. Well, it sounds like you got a busy week ahead of you. We wish the best of luck with that. Uh, you know, the past year's been quite a journey for you. In March of 2021, you left your job in corporate media, uh, and just a few short months later, in June of 2021, you announced your candidacy for governor. Uh, you know, I've had people calling me, and they're like, oh, this, this Carrie Lake lady, she's crazy. She's never going to make it past the primary. Well, guess what? You beat out a rhino, you made it past the primary, you made it to the general election, and here we are. You know, it's not a shock, or it's it's, it's not a surprise now, post-election. Uh, Republicans didn't do too great. We did we did win the House, we didn't win the Senate, unfortunately. Uh, but across the country, we didn't perform as well. But if we look at these cases of election fraud, of ballot harvest, and stuff like this that you're actually fighting for, what went wrong with the election? What can Republicans do in the future to, to fix well, this? We can't do anything if we do not reform our elections, period. I think there was a right way, and I think because these elections in so many states are so crooked, uh, the people are so fed up. We've been pushed to the brink. We've been pushed to the brink, whether it be our bosses trying to force us to get a vaccine or a shot we're not comfortable with. People have walked away from jobs. They've struggled. The economy's in a tailspin. They can't afford uh, to put gas in their car, food on the table. They've been tortured with COVID mandates that have uh, left them at wit's end. And when they finally did what the only thing they can do, which is get involved politically and show up and vote, when they finally did that, the elections were stolen from them. I think there was a red wave. I really do. And I think until we step forward and reform our elections, we're never going to win again and America will be lost. And that's why it's so very important that we reform our elections. Carrie, you know, when I travel the country, I know you hear this as well, there's a lot of people that, voters, that are concerned about the legitimacy of elections. They, you know, we're not going to vote in the future. We're just scared of it. What do we say to those people? What's our message to those well, that, voters? That's what the powers that be want. They, they're upset. When President Trump came down the escalator, he, he saved the Republican Party. He brought we the people back into the fold and said, this is your government. This is your country. And people were so moved by that. Somebody was really standing up for the working class, real everyday American. And they showed up and got politically involved. Well, let me tell you, the uniparty establishment does not want we the people involved. They want us going back to sleep, getting out of politics, minding our own business. And we the people won't do that. We are going to stay involved. And so we need to encourage them to continue to stay involved. But it's got to be the elections that have been reformed. And that's why this will be my number one. Thank you about ready. Sure yeah, Carrie, wrapping up here. You know, uh, we've, you've been called the leading lady of MAGA. You've been called Trump and Hills. There's a lot of people. People would just set up for the screaming that you could be a VP nominee. You're close with President Trump. Has he mentioned anything about you potentially being VP? Would you be open to that? No, we don't talk about that. Uh, we talk about a lot of things, and I am friends with President Trump. I love him. I have great respect for him. We're really concentrating on. I want to become the governor. Of Arizona. Absolutely. I yeah. am the governor. I believe I won. <laughs> But we need to make sure that we get our elections turned around. Uh, I adore him, and my goal is on Arizona. I care about our country, but we have to make our state strong. Yes, absolutely. And so that's what my goal is. I just yes. want to help America. If he asked you, would you say yes? Would you be open well, to the I'm, idea? Well, I am focused 100% on winning this lawsuit and getting into the governor's office. Absolutely, yeah. And so 
you know, no, I, I, my focus is that right now. Ready? I totally understand. Well, I appreciate it, Carrie. Like, thanks for doing this. Best of luck with this thing. So We're always praying for you. Thank and you I hope so you're much. the VP. You're a governor of Arizona. You've got a future in politics. I really do appreciate Thank it. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Really great.